Oh, this is recording today, huh? These were recording. Hard to tell sometimes with an old iPad. I'm getting tired. Oh, you may notice I look different today. Good old shirts and stuff, huh? Show that off. This is my, this is my business interaction uniform. <laughs> okay. So I went 100 miles south, made some good deals with the uh, proprietors of a, one of the world's largest scrapyards. So I do that, you know. I've always been doing that. I get these comments on Facebook as well as YouTube. Well, gee, you know, look how John acts now. Or his recent videos. I don't take them serious. <laughs> oh, it's amazing how stupid humans are. Just some humans are pretty dumb and stupid. Especially the ones I don't even know. Saying stuff like that. Come on. Kind of when working in here, I'm in private so I can make stupid videos which upset people. Some people only. I see assholes. People I don't even know and never met in real life, you know? Pretty sick. There are a lot of sickles out there, you know, that don't know anything about humanity and all that, right? Right. I call them sickles. Uh, what I do with those kind of people is I uh, ban them, block them, and um, on Facebook, block them, unfriend them. Or if it's YouTube, I just delete them. I don't bother arguing with uh, psychologically defective humans. Not worth the time, right? You should do the same if you got problems with certain people. I mean, make a statement. <clears throat> So it's um, unfriend or and block, which I do a lot of, because they don't understand that when it comes to doing business like I do, I've done that many times. So on doing business, I acquired um, about 2,000 pounds in vintage electronic generators, variax control panels, and other things. That's some machine tool parts, too, so... I've always been doing that. First time, I think I was about, um... About ten years old when I took some copper to Brard Junk on Lonsdale Avenue in North Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. I've been doing it ever since buying and selling, so this is buying time. So I got three shipments coming in, it'll be from the biggest scrap, one of the biggest scrapyards in North America, in Petaluma. Then there's going to be one from Fair Radio Sales in Lima, Ohio, and then another one from several eBay sellers I'm friends with and bought stuff from. So there's going to be a lot of goodies coming in. I just wanted to bring the point across that even when I'm doing consultation for clients for making power units, I mean, I don't act silly like that, and I don't wear skirts, okay? I wear this kind of clothing, okay? I'm not going to wear a suit. That's for a whole new kind of weird world, which I'm not part of. I never wore a suit. I never want to. Or a tie. I'm not into that nonsense. Don't wear this kind of stuff, right? <laughs> now, if you were to see me, um, let's say, in my apartment, the apartment lab, I'd be working on stuff totally naked, by the way. Never uploaded anything to YouTube. I'd just be working on stuff with no clothes on. And if I had a friend or hung around with a friend, we'd just hang out and do our sexy stuff. Not a 
problem, but when you start doing videos like I do, in a skirt and acting silly like that, you know, I get all these, I call them um, pathological comments from people with um, reality comprehension disorder. You see a lot of that with the 9-11 stuff I post. Oh, this and that. I just block and ban and such people. So it's kind of fun doing that. You don't have to even bother replying. You just block, delete, block, delete, block. I'm not going to try and convince somebody whose mind is all warped out into believing something that's not true. Not a, not a good point. Free energy people. I just delete them as well. They're just amateurs that don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. So... Although I, I do, the young generation, free energy researchers, I try and support them as much as I can through good comments to what they're doing. But no, I'm not into uh, promoting fake people. A lot of them around, I'm telling you. You got a, one big fat one, the Donald. He's pretty fake. He's a fake ass. He'd probably wind up in jail or commit suicide or get assassinated, you know? That's what's going to happen to him. So why he's like that? Because he tasted the ultimate power of being the President of the United States. And he can't let that go. No way, no. He, he's just crazy. He'll be dying. He'll be thrashing all over the place talking about <clears throat> being President again. And not to be that in that seat. This wither, will wither away if he's not murdered or assassinated or locked down. It'll wither away and that kind of thing. It's just like all these dictators, you know. They just dry up and die off and watch as they go gain enough people and form a, an army like Hitler did. He gained a huge amount of energy, which had to be destroyed at a lot of cost to others. Oh, most dictators have to be destroyed, you know. That's what goes on. And Saddam Hussein and Hitler and Edie, De I mean, or whatever you call that pig. And there's the asshole in North Korea. That is a real psycho babble unit. Over stuff. Fat pig with delusions of <laughs> grandeur, you know. And hopefully he gets knocked off. It's just human garbage. So much of human garbage and stupid people. And there's also on the other side of the coin, the majority of folks are really nice. Friendly to talk to. So I've been here for a while. I've been missing human interludes, talks, buildings and people. I kind of miss that. I'd like to go to Los Angeles again sometime or New York. Well, I've been to New York once, changing planes for Germany. It's been fun to hang out for a while. L.A. is a lot of fun. I did a lot of L.A. hanging out in San Francisco. Oh, like that. So I think you better think twice before leaving a stupid comment. Okay, I know you've seen the TV shows. You've seen John running around the TV shows. And doing this and doing that. I haven't done that in a while. Now you make fun of my videos I upload. Is that going to stop me from uploading videos? No. If you leave a nasty comment, you're simply uh, be deleted and I don't want anything to do with you. So don't leave a comment negative, okay? Not worth it. It's amazing how humans are brainwashed into thinking certain things like the border crisis and all that shit. Or other stupid things. Our guns kill people. And, no, no, no. People kill people. Oh, you stupid idiot. God, there's so many stupid people out there. Well. Hmm. Got the 
the smell of the scrapyard of me. I love that smell of old metal and greasy things. Um, that will be very handy in here. I have a special unit I got, a couple, that could activate a, a lot of energy fields. I'm not going to go into details. You kind of know my story from TV shows, so you figure it out. Oh, nice to stretch. It's uh, 100 miles south, 100 miles back. EVO went along for the ride. He did very well. He's very happy. It was a nice ride. His temperatures were up in maybe 80s, up almost to 90s. So I had a lot of fun. And meeting the proprietor of his company. I've done that before a number of times. And we had a good day today. And he'll be up here, actually. I'm going to personally deliver the stuff. I'm not going to a grand tour of the place. I'm going to talk about other things. So. Next videos you see, you'll probably see me wearing a skirt. Okay. Why not? It's comfor comfortable. It feels good. And I can act my silliness. Uh, this will be a, a benchmark and you not leaving a negative comment. You can leave a funny comment, but not negative. I like the government got me or the CIA got me. Or my brains are fried from doing so much experiment. Don't step over the line. Some of you do. Some of you think you know something, but you don't really. Some of you go on a, a, a talk about what you know, but it's actually not true. I would believe Rene Louis Valet's statement, there's 56 megajoules of energy in the cubic spaces of space-time. There's equation for it, too. I believe him. I believe Einstein. I believe Ken Schulz. I believe Rocher and others. Dr. Fudok and many others, you know. So don't... Don't rub me the wrong way or I can lash out pretty strong. Right? And I will. With all the facts. Because I keep records of everything on the internet. Maybe you start calling Ken Shoulders fake. Oh, you better not. Because I'll unleash a lot of information that you don't know about. Or Dr. Rauscher's fake, unleash, unleash a lot of information you don't know about. Plus dozens of others that I've known personally who are good people. Because I like to back up what I say with information. Oh, really? No, don't be surprised. Never step on my toes. You'd be regret it. There's others, people that say stuff and it never comes true, you know, those kind of people are spinning wheels around, making a lot of smoke. Now, those kind just keep spinning their wheels around and eventually get into a rut. Well, that's the problem with the internet world. It's so many fake people say a lot of things and never do anything in reality, you know. Yeah, well, that's unfortunate. It's easy to be an internet couch sloth. Make a lot of noise and nothing ever comes of it. So the internet, uh, the birth of the internet and, and forums and YouTube and bloggers brought forth a lot of good people with a lot of good information and a lot of stupid people that don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> it's quite, it's a lot of fun. I find a lot of fun. See, I just acted silly by doing that. I'm not going to keep doing that. I'm going to wear my skirt and 
dress and keep doing it, but not if with uh, friends. I dress more like this, really. But for dress and that would be for hypersexual partners. That was a fun trip. I enjoyed it. I can get the countryside and the music playing and meeting this, again, the staff at the scrapyard, the owner, who gave me a good bargain and about 2,000 pounds of goodies. That average would probably cost 20,000. I mean, I got stuff that uh, given to me that cost, um, used 10 grand to $26,000. I got those things brand new. I believe it was Berkeley or another place for 25 bucks. That's true. Proof. I don't know proof. That's how those cannon part, Orlikon cannon shoulder mounts and sights were just scrap price. So when it comes to people asking horrendous prices for stuff like Sometimes they'll email them and say, are you insane? I got mine for 25 bucks or 100 bucks or whatever it is. Go get a life. Good luck selling it. Let me know someday, years from now, if you want to sell it to me for the right price. I do that. And sure enough, once in a long time, we get an email. Just some asshole that's trying to make a million dollars. eBay sellers, a lot of good ones, and a lot of asshole, greedy, stupid idiots. I love the idea of a swimming pool full of shit, and you throw gold bars in it and see all the idiots go flying into it. They would. That's how stupid a lot of humans are, and some wouldn't. So, I know all the shitty humans, and not all of them, but a number of them, and a lot of super great humans. I wonder why the UFO stuff's coming out like so. It's all it's all nonsense anyway. It's just hyper driven stuff that doesn't exist. You tell me of a very well documented UFO. The CIA people released to me uh, thousands of documents on the UFOs and all boiled down to a few pages that may be interest is the metal pieces that came off this supposed UFO. Even that is iffy because it could be something dropped out of the sky. So, yeah, so you guys got to get real, okay? Uncle Art, Art Bell, good friend of mine, we did several shows together, would probably agree with me. But there is intelligent life out there, and they communicate in different ways, not in a bunch of old flying saucers and that. No, 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 it's different. Way advanced, and you don't know it. You just think it's going to be a flying saucer coming around. <sighs> no, no, no. There might be some piece of space stuff from a primitive race, but advanced people are... Advanced aliens would communicate probably through radio or other unique ways. It wouldn't upset the human race to be violent. They're very concerned, I would think, about a very violent species, humans, who develop such things as a primitive automobile or a primitive aircraft or silly stuff like that. Actually, getting out of the space with something ridiculous like a antimatter bomb or something, you know, you, you never know. I'm just looking ahead. How long have I been doing this for? Should do a stand up video. Ooh! Mm, 19 minutes. <coughs> uh, we're
work I put this like walk around and show off my put a arm so to speak. Put it over here. Maybe yeah. Uh, okay, let me walk around. I'll plug in okay. So how do I look? I think it looks good. Now you wouldn't see me get in an aircraft with a skirt. No, no, no. I'm gonna put this on uh, going in an airplane. Or a different country and this and that, you know. This skirty stuff is just for around here. I find clothes seem to numb my senses, like they're in the way of my communication with things. That's why in the apartment years ago, I'd be totally naked when doing all this stuff. I never uploaded anything on YouTube, although people have taken pictures of me who were like-minded. But, mostly very close friends. So you tell me your creative talents and what you want. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Well, you can't say it on YouTube, I guess not. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's all digits, you can just delete the whole damn... The whole darn videos, all of them, I can delete them like that. Close account. YouTube or Facebook this I just find it fun to make a stupid video come on Facebook is just a pile of idiots I only know a few people in there out of 500 whoever they are <laughs> but for me it's an interesting study because I'm interested in psychology I can go to psychology today and look up reference points and such people which I do often and you see their total makeup because I used to read Psychology Today books in Riverview where I was. We learn the psychopaths, the schizos, the manic depressive psychosis people, and neurotics like myself. Oh, uh, you get to know all kinds of mental diseases by observations. The psychopaths are the scary ones. I didn't like hanging around with that much. Because they got all these different divisions in Essendale. We had Hillside, North Lawn, West Lawn, Center Lawn, East Lawn, Crease Clinic, Colony Farm, all these different divisions and different types of patients in it. Colony Farm had the worst killers, the psychopathic killers and all that who were in there. I, being a helper with a TV repairman and also a patient got to see the psychopaths and I also got to be the radio uh, Essendale's disc jockey so life goes on I had a lot of fun there, a lot of sex a lot of people I met and and what the doctor told me, he said, if you ever get bored, let him know. And he'll write my release forms to apply for welfare. So one day I did, and my dad picked up my guns. My radio gear, and off I went to the Drexel Rooms, 5 West Hastings, where I hung out for two weeks. Got a room in Lind Valley at Mrs. Murphy's. But all in all, I'm going to go take my vitamins, change my clothes back into comfortable stuff, like a skirt. Of course I wear um, long plant pants in winter. They're kind of girlish looking, and I don't mind that. I'm androgynous, by the way, so. Anyway, i got to go, and you characters behave yourself. 
or I just simply plus delete or YouTube and Facebook delete block delete block delete it's like sifting through garbage or old junk some of it's just junk so it's really good so get good people and you get rotten people <laughs> doing this so anyway I gotta go parting shot should I oh this is one of the warships I worked on I jumped the Saskatchewan I worked on Mackenzie, Columbia, Saskatchewan, and Yukon. So, Project Mandarin, you can give me the shirt. So, anyway, I gotta go.